Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for the Gizwiz is brought to you by Cashfly at C-A-C-H-E-F-L-Y dot com. It's time for the Gizwiz with Matt's Maddest writer, Dick T. Bartolo. This is episode 1,447, recorded December 17th, 2013. Boom, boom, balloon. The Gizwiz is brought to you by lynda.com. Learn what you want, when you want, with access to over 2,000 high-quality online courses and training videos, all for one low monthly price. To try it free for seven days, visit lynda.com slash gizwiz. That's L-Y-N-D-A dot com slash gizwiz. And by Hulu Plus. Hulu Plus lets you binge on thousands of hit shows anytime, anywhere, on your TV, PC, smartphone, or tablet. Visit HuluPlus.com slash twit to start your free two-week trial. And now, get ready for Dick! Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for being here on this... Our very last Giz Wiz of 2013! It's the same dumb show with Dickie D and Leo Laporte on Twin TV. It's time for the Giz Wiz because gadgets are his business. They've got a gizmo sickness, geek disease, and their pathology. Rows and rows of USBs, growing, growing LEDs. Get ready for the Giz Wiz now. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the throw cam in living technicolor! Oh Hey, we're having our Festivus party in the back there. Like, got the aluminum pole, the airing of grievances. Do you see that? The toothpick bird. Yes. The sport. And the Gizwiz knitted a ball thing. Yeah. <laughs> the, <laughs> oh, there it is. about time they blew that up. <laughs> the smithereens. How, Howie Woo made this for me. Yeah. Yeah. Howie Woo. He made me a... Uh, Howie was a is a great cartoonist, but then eventually he got it for some reason he got into crocheting. So he made me a toothpick bird, a spork, and there I am on the ball. But what he didn't do is give me a give me a dick. I mean, a, you know, you. He didn't do he didn't do you. <laughs> Wait, whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> oh, you have you. That's awesome. There you go. Thank you, Howie Woo. How yeah, do this is you like do? for our 500th show or something. Yeah. Yeah. So, hey, what do you uh, mean this is the, the last of 2013? Well, next week is uh, Christmas Eve. We're, we're doing, doing a best show? of show. No, of course, we're doing the best of. Oh, okay. And then the following week is New Year's Eve. And of course, we're going to do a sh I guess we are going to do a show. We are going to do a it'll show. It'll be 2013 still. I think of... See, the problem is our New Year's Eve, our 24 hours of New Year's, starts with New Year Day. New Year's Day. You know, the countdown to New Year's to 2014 in, uh, in uh, Kamchatka Peninsula in New Zealand. So I have the, I have the list right here. So uh, it will already... I will have already celebrated the arrival of 2014. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven times by the time the Gizwiz is oh, on. Okay, but it will it'll be 2013 in Petaluma. In Petaluma and in New York, but 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 around the world, it, we're already almost halfway yeah. into New Year's. So. I mean, it doesn't have to be a normal show, but it should be something special for us, you know, ending... A it long, is a long relationship. Run. We're yes. breaking up after many well, years. We're, not we're breaking up the, the band. Relationship. No, we're just going to live apart and just see how it works. <laughs> we're going to have separate bedrooms. Yeah, um, but that's Three okay. Miles apart. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, because Chad's going to be taking over the show starting uh, January seventh. That's exciting. Yes. And uh, but I'm going to you know I'm going to come in from time to time and bring and gadgets. You also have to come in for the anniversary show. I oh, already I'll come in at least for that. Yeah. Once yeah. a year, I think I can do that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So uh, anyway, Dick, how are you today? I'm uh, good at you, sir. You said it was a little slushy. Um, you know what? It's chilly here, but we're having beautiful weather, crisp, clear uh, fall days. You know, it's still fall. I know until uh, Sunday. And then all of a sudden, it's winter. Yeah. 
But then we get the shortest day of daylight, and then we we slowly crawl our way back to some decent daylight time. It starts to turn around. I can't wait for that. That's awesome. <laughs> uh, we do what we do on this show. We give you gadgets, lots of them. And really, the main reason I stopped doing, I'm going to stop doing the shows. I've run out. I'm going to dump on you all of the gadgets so that because I know many of these gadgets that Jeff Needles got us are really meant for the holiday stocking. Oh, okay. Yeah, they're they're okay. they're they're stocking gadgets. So uh, I'll show you a bunch of gadgets, and I think you and I are going to play a little game. We're going to play a little game yeah. as our third gadget. All um, right. We're starting out with, uh, I don't know if Scott sent this to you, but, you know, for years, Scott would come out with new jackets that had more and more pockets. And I think he's totally run out of ideas. <laughs> so now he's just selling pockets. <laughs> no, no, I'm serious. He, he has something new called the blackout pocket. Ooh. So the blackout pocket mm. is basically a Faraday cage. So it's lined with uh, RFID armor material. Wow. And you put your wallet in there and it, it's a standalone pouch. And then you put that pocket in your pocket. And then somebody who's running around trying to pull information from your wallet or will not be able to do it. So he has three different levels. He has what he's called blackout pocket number one. Uh, that guards your wallet, your passport, and credit cards from RFID skimmers. And he said in his email that a lot of uh, foreign countries now have digital pickpocketing on the rise. Those foreign countries. Yes, yes. I tell them. Then level two, industrial grade. Mm. This is, you put your cell phone in there along with your wallet. And within three to five seconds, there is no service, no GPS, no way to track you. Not even the NSA will find you. And then he says, level three, email us. It's only for law enforcement and government Agency. Wait a minute. It's sold out and... You know what? I think... They've only had that, one. You know what? I'm wondering if they haven't put them online yet because... Oh. I had heard that the regular the level one was going to be $20, but they were going to introduce it at $15. The level two was going to be $40, but they were going to introduce it at $30. And level three, I don't know the price because I am not a law enforcement government agency. That's bizarre. Yeah, it's bizarre. It's bizarre. So, so uh, you know, I think the other reason that this is timely is uh, Apple's announcement of iBeacon because what Apple said is that any iOS device since the iPhone 4S is also a transmitter, not merely... A potential recipient of iBeacon information, but actually can transmit using Bluetooth LE uh, that you're there, your location and information about you. Now, you would have to the people set it up, but I think it's I think what that's going to do is is stimulate a lot of nervousness about uh, Bluetooth low energy because it's always on and it doesn't you know you don't have to it's do the pairing thing just to, yes. just. Just having the thing is enough. So uh, my suspicion is that's really what's going to drive this. RFID, is, you know, unless you have special equipment, you have to really be quite close to it. Uh, but this Bluetooth LE is designed to work over 30 or 50 feet. Yeah, so, yeah. so the level two for that would be good. And they're yeah. kind of weird looking. Uh, Jason, can you just cut do you that have one close-up camera? I do. Yeah. So... Um, they some of some Scotty Vest already have liners that are set up for hook and loop. So if you slide this into one of those jackets, it will use this hook and loop, and aka Velcro. Yes, yes, exactly, okay. exactly. <laughs> I guess they're not using actual well, Velcro because they keep referring to yeah, it Velcro is a trademark. Right. So it's exactly. Yeah. Uh, but if you don't need them, they just peel off. And then the inside of the pocket is that you know metal kind of meshy thing, flexible, and that's what will block 
uh, anything from getting out of the Ooh, pocket. Ooh, you know, that everything. immediately changed your lights to green. Uh, 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 you know, it's spooky. Ooh. Whoa. What is going on? I don't, uh, you know what? I'm just wondering if the NSA is already looking at my camera. So this is effectively a metallic fabric. That's exactly what yeah. it is. That is exactly what it is. I'm actually going to uh, boil a turkey in it. Uh, for the, <laughs> I think for I'm going to use it for sun tanning. <laughs> yes, exactly. The great thing is I can boil a turkey and uh, broil a turkey, and Myra will never know because it'll be blocked out by the blackout pocket. Um, so anyway, check his website later because, as I said, I think it says sold out because they haven't activated uh, the links yet. That would that would make sense. It's uh, so it's called what is it called? It's called the Blackout Pocket. Blackout Pocket. Right. So it's scottyvest.com slash blackout. Wow. Now, uh, on uh, I think it was last week on Mac Break Weekly, Andy Anako's pick of the week was something very similar. Third party oh. uh, sells it. Same, roughly the same cost. Okay. So, uh, and I think probably using the same material because. Uh, Scott even says this is a special kind of material. Yes, I think it's called armor, and it's a trademark right, as right as armor, A R M O R. Cool. Yeah, cool. and oh, they, they do also do something kind of clever. Is that the package it comes in meets the TSA requirements for your uh, carry on of liquids? So it, it's a dual purpose. But now they can't, uh, I would guess they can't see into it with uh, their x-ray machines, right? Not into the blackout pocket. Right. But I mean, the, the, the plastic pocket that they send you, that they send the block pack, the blackout pocket. Oh, you in. mean the Ziploc bag the that Ziploc it comes in? Oh, okay. Right. All right. Is, is TSA regulation size for carrying on your little three ounce and less liquids. So. And, and uh, what is the difference between level two and level three? Le well, we don't know because it just says <laughs> level three is for government. Agents. I think it's a big pocket that just goes over you. <laughs> yeah. And then you can go anywhere in the world and no one knows you're there. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Uh, this is uh, blocks RFID cell Angie. So you could also, you know, what you could also do is put your cell phone in it. It'd be like yes, airplane mode. Two. Yeah. Right. GPS uh, signals. Um. Cool. Yeah. Passports, well, which have RFID in them now. Well, if you phone home, you just stick your, your, your face into the bag. That's it. That's it. Totally off the grid in three to five seconds. Zero bars, untrackable by satellite. That is kind of neat. Huh. Oh, oh, it does get. Oh, okay. I didn't see that. So there is what level three is. Well, I just clicked the link. It doesn't tell yeah, you much yeah, more. No, In fact, it looks like it's pretty much the same thing as level two. So it does. So there's yeah. got to be, oh, 80 bucks. It's got to be something really special. It says on it, <laughs> I'm a, I'm an air marshal, is what it is. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's Don't how you know. Don't screw with me. Don't mess I'm with me. I'm a level three person. Security. Remember, who was it that had that jacket? That he, they, that, you know, he has, oh, it was Alex Lindsay. So they have uh, detachable Velcro, oh, I'm sorry, hook and loop badges <laughs> on there. And he got one that oh, said you, security. He says, nobody ever searches your bags after that. Oh, he says so it goes right through airport security. I guess they don't want to find any weapons. So they just, no, get, get, you know, yeah, get out of here. It saves time. Then it means paperwork. <laughs> oh, right. Yeah, exactly. Right. <laughs> it's me in the chat room. says, level three equals Harry Potter's invisibility cloak. That I would buy. That would yeah. be worth 80 bucks. That would, yeah. <laughs> All right. Gadget number two. Gadget number two is a Gizwiz video <clears throat> of the week. And <clears throat> I got so emotional thinking we're just going to do this <laughs> one more time. This is the uh, last time ever. <laughs> <laughs> let's go find out about fake TV. The yeah. Bartolo Mads is a writer and the Gizwiz okay. with another one take theater yes. here on Twit. Okay. How to avoid being robbed. Oh. Crooks look for dark houses. Okay. In hotels, they look for dark rooms. Yes. We're pretending we're in a hotel. <laughs> in this room, we're going to pick the lock. Oh, good. We're going to open the door. <laughs> See, now this is a bad sign. Wait a minute, the light's it on. He's watching, in there watching TV. TV. Yeah. I'll see what see the watching. flickering? Yeah. Oh, they're watching Match Game. Yeah. 
Oh, they're watching match game and they're sound asleep. <laughs> what kind of a fan is that? Oh, oh wait a minute. Wait. Wait. What they're is it? They're not watching anything. They're watching <laughs> fake TV. <laughs> I'm going to turn some more light on in here and show you. That's the you silliest what thing I ever you. saw. <laughs> about fake TV. This is what it looks like, this little guy here. And all it does is LEDs, pulsating LEDs. Make of course, you could just leave the TV on. And the object is you yeah, set it, it up so two it shines ah. on a wall or the ceiling or behind a Venetian blinds. <laughs> and someone, the crook. It's just my luck, the crook could steal the fake TV. <laughs> it's way more effective than just having a timer turn a lamp on or off. Uh, on the top, you can't see it here because it's, it's very... Uh, I think the robo-cop in your bathroom is, is probably more of a deterrent. Hours, That's true. Dusk plus seven hours or on all the time. And what that does is this little eye here will turn the unit on at dusk. When uh -huh. it gets dark, it'll go on for four hours or go on for seven hours and then shut off. Or you can leave it on all night uses very little power. I, I think it said like two watts, pretty much what a nightlight would burn. A um, couple of different versions. About five years ago on the Gizwiz, we had a fake TV and few complaints on Amazon, it wasn't bright enough. So the new version of fake TV is said to be three times brighter than the original one. A couple of different companies sell fake TV. Uh, this one is from Voss, V-A-A-S. Voss! So this is Voss oh, fake up. TV. Basically, you know, in the pictures, they all look identical. They all have the uh, exact same controls on the back. So perhaps they all come from the same company and are just uh, branded. So my guess is just buy the cheapest one you can find online. I got mine on the deal of the day for $18. Whoa! So that's it, fake TV. And they, there is a warning that wherever you put it, the burglar should not be able to look in and see and the see fake the TV. That seems pretty obvious. <laughs> it's not a real TV. <laughs> Hey, Vito, is that a real TV yeah, in there? It looks app? awfully small. But uh, in New York City, because apartments are so small, this is sold as a widescreen TV. <laughs> uh, anyway, that's it. Dick D. Bartolo, Mads Maddest writer, and the Gizwiz with another one-take theater here on Twit. And, oh, my wallet's gone. <laughs> Damn, that fake TV. Fake TV stole fake your wallet. TV. <laughs> well, that's interesting. Yeah. Um, it does. It, it is effective, and I think it's more effective than a lamp. Uh, yeah, which would just be a steady light. Yeah, um, or just a barking dog recording. A barking. Oh, remember? Yeah. Fine. A uh, sharper image. <laughs> the barking dog. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> the barking dog. It was called Watchdog, mm. and it sent out rays through the door, and the closer someone got to your door, the louder it barked. I love that. Yeah, I have yeah. to find that. I still have it at the warehouse. So now your watchdog is watching fake TV, and you're completely safe. Yeah, it doesn't matter because my wallet is in the blackout <laughs> pocket, and even if they get in... They can't see it. It's invisible. It. Bark off. Bark. <laughs> bark off. Bark off. I like it. I like yeah, it. Yeah, bark off. Um, well, that's an interesting idea, an interesting fake TV. There it is on uh, Amazon. On Amazon. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And, and this is... I wish, you uh, know, let's get a burglar on the show and he can tell us if he does, in fact, pay attention to things like... Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. That's a, a very good A light or a TV or yeah. Yeah. a fake barking dog, fake gunshots, <laughs> fake halt, police, anything fake, if that fools them. Yeah. Al, uh, Alec Lindsay's security jacket hanging in the window, <laughs> I think, is the right I there. always have an NRA sticker in my door. Yeah, okay, yeah. that's yeah. good. That's a good one. That's Member good. of the yeah. National Rifle Association, and I'm not afraid to use it. I don't nice. even think real car alarms are much of a deterrent these days. No. <laughs> I saw a car driving down the street in San Francisco. The guy was driving it was saying, Burglar! 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 <laughs> he was driving just... Oh, that's very dee, 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 Burglar! Bur and you, what you figure is, I don't think he's stealing the car. He's just, his alarm won't go off. But maybe he was. But who, what yeah, am I going to do? Right. Would chase him down right. by foot? 
Hey, yeah. you, burglar, burglar, burglar. I don't know. No, you just have to ask nice. Say, Excuse me, sir, but are you a burglar or is your alarm <laughs> malfunction? This car protected by Magnum 44. Mm -hmm. um, actually, they break in to steal the gun if you do that. So. Oh, that is bad. Yeah, yeah. 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 Good point. I could say, I have a gun, but I don't have any ammunition. That's the neighbor's house. Go next door. I don't know. Mm, I don't know. I don't know. It seems to me, well, again, I, I think our chat room has is full of reprobates. Anybody in there, an actual burglar, could fill us in? You can, you know, you're anonymous. We won't, uh, we won't say anything. Hmm. No, Do we have no, a video? No. We have a video for Bark Off. <laughs> for Bark? Is it called Bark Off? Mine uh, Bert, uh, Bert says, he's the, here's the video for Bark Off. Put to the test. Can I find a way to stop a barking dog? A product called Barkoff. Oh, this is to stop a barking dog. can keep the peace for $10, but before you spend your money, we let Jesse buy it. Oh, this is to stop oh. it from barking. Uh, these are yeah. Jennifer English's babies. Yeah. And they no, we know these don't work because that's why uh, Steve is, is creating, has created the uh, portable dog killer. <laughs> <laughs> that works. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, I'm <laughs> glad you're leaving the show. <laughs> no, his no portable dog killer does not actually hurt the dog in any way. It's just a very loud sound, and the dog goes, "I don't like that," and leaves. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's harmless. Okay. Harmless. Okay. okay. Although I noticed that he did suddenly stop development of it. <laughs> <laughs> and you also realize Ozzy hasn't been home in four days. Yes. No. No. Problem. Now. 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 Hey, let's uh, take a break, and when we're going to come back, we're going to. Uh, I don't want to burst your bubble. But uh, maybe I'll burst your balloon. We'll, uh, we'll show you the boom, boom balloon in just a bit. But first, a word from lynda.com, an online learning company. Whoa, that's, that seems like an online. That's nothing. An, it's much more than an online learning. It is Linda Wyman's amazing site with over 2,000 courses, hundreds of thousands of quality videos. You can learn all sorts of stuff, software like Excel and PowerPoint and WordPress and QuickBooks. You can learn uh, how to take better pictures or shoot DSLR video, record for records, songwriting. There's uh, all sorts of great stuff there. And, of course, even soft skills like things like time management and negotiation. You'll improve your skills. You'll learn new software. You'll keep up with technology. And all for one low monthly rate gives you full access to the entire catalog. New courses added just this week. WordPress 3.8 new features. You run a WordPress blog. This would be very helpful. I think I'll be watching that one when I get home tonight. Uh, distributing iOS applications through the App Store. How about this one? You would like this, Jason. Live sound engineering techniques from the sound guy who does Rush. You're actually on tour uh, with Rush. That's pretty awesome. Is that not awesome? Getty Lee microphoning. And the Foundations of Photography Flash. That, those were added this week. That's Brent Carpenter's uh, course. I mean, this is great stuff. Best of all, you get access to the entire library for just $25 a month. Working professionals doing the teaching, expert teachers, as well as people at the top of their field. So, you re I mean, you cannot learn from somebody better than Brent here. This is awesome. This is the audio rigging, how they do the trusses. Drop that way. It basically takes the cable all the way upstage to give a nice, clean look to the stage. <laughs> it will be picked up by two half-ton motors, one on the upstage, one on the downstage. This is so awesome. Uh, yeah, I, I would never cool. do this, just, but I'm going to watch this. I would watch it, yeah. Oh, isn't that <laughs> cool? <laughs> and you can see how well-produced it is. Every video has an accompanied, accompanied uh, transcription, so you can search through the transcription to find the part of the video you want to watch. All the content is curated. It is structured so you can learn from start to finish or jump to the part you need to know. Easy to follow, easy to learn, and you can watch it on your computer, your tablet, your mobile device. Pick up, leave off on one pick up where you left off on the other. I just, I, it, you, this is, would it, wouldn't this be a great gift? If you have a teenager, uh, a, a family member who wants to learn, give the gift of learning this year. A gift membership to lynda.com. Here's the deal. Go to lynda, L-Y-N-D-A dot com slash gizwiz. There is a gift membership link at lynda.com slash gizwiz. And while you're there, you can get a seven-day trial where you can watch any video, take any course free for the first week. lynda.com, L-Y-N-D-A dot com slash gizwiz for access to the entire library for an entire week. And I think for a holiday gift, 
What a great idea. What a great idea. My son uses logic. I think, you know, giving him the gift of Linda and he can just study logic, uh, you know, at, at his leisure. It's just everything there is fabulous. LYNDA.com slash gizwiz. They're talking in the chat room about the Powerball. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. I guess uh, it could be a billion dollar a jackpot. A billion dollars. Wow. Right. And the odds go up too. It's you, oh, you're yeah. more likely to be hit by an asteroid. <laughs> That's what they said. No, on, it's true. Because yeah. when it, 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 it kind of evens out. See, people get excited about the giant jackpot, so more people buy, and it really pretty much evens out that if you were on a, you want a smaller jackpot, you'd get just as much money as a share of a giant jackpot. Yeah. But that's not why people play that stuff. No, they're just... They just want to win a billion dollars. Exactly. exactly. It isn't Powerball. Yeah. It's, it's Mega Millions, the anti-Powerball. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get my Powerball here. We're going to play with... Uh, this is gadget number three. Gadget number three, exactly. I don't know what the hell is going on here. This is scary looking. It's from a company, game company, Spin Master. Oh, they did a nice job setting it up. Oh, yeah, so, look. Yeah. There's so a face boom, on boom. it. Yeah, face on it. Boom, boom, balloon. So you have to pick uh, someone there to play it. I'm going to give you, like, a shortcut on how to play okay, it. Okay, yeah, um, give me the rules. Okay, so basically you roll your there's there's a die that comes with it. Yep, when, I got it right here. Okay, so you roll the die. Okay. Who's who's gonna play with you? Who's gonna play uh, boom boom balloon with me? Come on, boys and girls, it's fun. Uh Alex Gumpel. Okay. The flow oh, master. Okay. All right. Okay. 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 Here he is, boom boom balloon guy. So what and do we do? If you're upstairs, UPS is at the door. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Um, Let's play here as well. We wait for okay, Dick. Okay, can you do it? Can yeah, I go grab ahead. the package? Okay, yeah, go ahead. Boy, this guy's insistent. See, of course, Myra is not there right now. Myra, where are you? Okay. Did you bring him upstairs? Uh, no, he's in the studio. Okay. Wait a minute. Quick, go uh, to the Gizwiz not, Jam. My normal UPS guy knows that I have to sign for stuff, but... Uh, okay. Go to the, do we have the Disneyland cam? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's right. The Disneyland cam. Let's see what's uh, going on. I, I got so, it right here. Hold on. Hold on. Don't let him go. <laughs> I want to see him. Is okay. this the pro? Is this Leo, the new uh, one? That, SS Disneyland 2? No, wait a minute. Is this it? No, no. The Disneyland That's raining on the boat. Oh, 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 oh my here God. I am. There I am. we go. Oh, who's that guy? That's Dennis and the UPS guy. Okay, here we go. Okay. <laughs> okay. He doesn't look Thank too you. happy to be there. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you're on the air, sir. Hello, <laughs> sir. I. Oh, dear. He's gone. He's gone. <laughs> Okay, so boom, boom, balloon, you roll. Um, okay, so Leo, okay. just roll the die. Where did the die go? And then go? I'm going to show you a real quick way to play it. Okay, I'm going to roll the die. Okay, right. Okay, it landed under the toothpick bird. I got a three. A three. Okay, so now you have to push those sticks in till they click three times. Either one stick. Uh, one stick, three one times. One stick, three times. Or, or you can, three you can sticks, do one, one, time. one, and one. Yeah, okay. whatever you want. One. So one. Ooh. Oh. And one, <laughs> boom, boom, right. balloon, and one. Oh, okay. okay. Now it's and, Alex's and, turn. And you know what? It's easy to, to speed it up. Just each keep doing three clicks. No, right, no, Alex. no. Come on, roll one. the die. We got to make oh, this okay. real. Yep. He's doing it real. Okay. Two. You get two. Okay. Well, um, two anywhere, Alex. It can be two separate clicks. Uh, one. Uh, oh, this is fun. Uh, I like this game. I got three. Oh my one. word. One. Two. Oh, this is exciting. Suspense is killing Three. me. Three. Okay. <laughs> now, that, he's these got two. balloons can take a lot because I played it at a party, and it can really deform. Are you saying this could go on for hours? Sort of. Okay. That's why I'm saying if you want to speed it up, you can. I get three again. Uh, uh, you pick it to three. One. Uh, uh, two. Uh, 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 three. 
three. Okay, Alex is getting nervous. <laughs> Alex this, is a chicken. Every time one. He steps back. This one. is this is not. This oh, is that, two. I kind of feel like the balloon one, needs to be filled with something. Two. Yeah, so it should when be filled it pops, with water. <laughs> Gasoline. Oh, gasoline. Ooh, gasoline. Two. One. Or whipped cream. Oh. 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 I never saw that happen. Oh. <laughs> that Here, don't, don't worry. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> that is so funny. It's not boom boom balloon. It's kind of... <gasps> it's kind balloon. of just boom ba balloon. <laughs> okay, Alex. <laughs> You're so Leo, Leo, you win. I'm the champion of Boom Boom Balloon. Yeah, it's kind of fun. It's under no, I like almost. this game. This is really cute. So then it comes with a, a few it balloons. Comes with, uh, ten balloons. Okay. And you can use a regular balloon, but a regular balloon goes really fast. These are a little bit tougher. Oh, they're special toughened balloons. It, and has a, a face on it. So and, here's how you uh, do it, Leo. It's got to go through the the base first. First, first, right? You've got to blow. So up you blow the it up in the in the in the thing. The right, exactly. There you go. <laughs> and it actually says in the instructions <laughs> to use a balloon. Uh, uh, you say? always use a balloon pump. What a balloon they, pump. What, a balloon what, pump. <laughs> Where's where do you get those? I have no idea. Oh, you mean no. dad? <laughs> It says yes, never exactly. blow up the balloon. With Whoa. The balloon. <laughs> oh, yeah. I shouldn't. Uh, I should retract the sticks before blowing oh, up yeah, balloon. You know what? The easiest way is to push the sticks all the way through. And, uh, yeah. It, it, yeah. Oh, there you go. This is too much work. Boom, boom, balloon. Okay. Now, now you get how much would you pay? You get the idea. All right. So I'm going to put this. The, the reset is a little bit complicated. Yes. They need to come up, you know, with like a... An quick, automatic reset. Quick, like Connect Four style. Just you. Actually, ooh, this is kind of a thrill. Uh oh. <laughs> well, you can put the sticks in after the balloons in. Oh yeah. Oh crap. I keep pushing it more than once. Yeah. That's dumb. You started it, Dick. You're going to have to sit there and watch. No, that's okay. That's okay. Wait, I'll, let me go see if there's another delivery guy I can talk to. <laughs> Here's where we wait for boom, boom. Here's where we wait for boom, boom, balloon. So who set this up originally? I did. And uh, do you think that your small children would enjoy this, Jason Howell? I don't know. They, they, they played I mean, a few times. Yeah, they probably played it's a couple of times. I, I think our my four year old would just want to pop a balloon. Period. Oh, okay. There, there would be no game to it. She, once she understood that all you had to do is poke the thing into the balloon and it popped, she'd probably just. Oh, that. there you go, Leo. Perf perfect. Oh god. Oh well, now you really. All right, that's enough. Now that's <laughs> gonna make this is a special. <laughs> this in. is that's a really good. fast advanced, advanced edition. That's good. Boom, boom, balloon. This is, at, oh, this is good. She, she really oh. doesn't, she doesn't look too happy. All right, Chad. Oh, boy. Boom, boom, my balloon. Uh, you want me to oh. roll first? Yeah, you roll first. Here we go. Wow, so good we're doing it twice. One. <laughs> okay, now I am standing back. <laughs> now I am standing back. Oh. Ooh. Ooh, he who goes first laughs last. That's almost like three balloon oh, balloons. Oh, three. Oh. Well. Okay, one. Nice knowing you, Leo. Two, three. Ah! 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 <laughs> that was fun. You know what? I like this game. It's maybe more for 18 and over. I think I took it. It could be a drinking party. game. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it'll be good for. Uh, we'll save that for New Year's Eve. Yeah, New Year's good Eve. Bring it yeah. back out again. This boom, boom, balloon. How much is that? That's fun. Uh, it's under 20 bucks. I think uh, Toys R Us had it on special for 15 bucks. Yeah, and they have it for 15 You know, as many people could play this as you want because you just take take turns, uh, right? No, they, yeah, Toys R Us, it's still 15 at Toys R Us. Yeah. I like that. That's fun. And you can order more balloons from the company or if you want to make a shorter <sighs> game, just use like a little balloon. How much are balloons? It yeah, seems, that's a good it point. seems like you probably should just buy some cheap balloons. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it gets the game or use an inner tube, and you could play it for maybe a year or two. <laughs> <laughs> we got them pushed all the way in. Now what? Now what? Yeah, what? boom, boom, balloon. Fill it with something though for extra fun. Gasoline. That was a good uh, Alex <laughs> suggested. Yeah. And then, uh, you know, have an open flame nearby. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. I think that'd be good. 
I think that's, that's fun. I like that. Now, yeah. we had a lot of crap left over from Jeff Needles. I mean, okay. like an insane amount. The crap king. Oh, golly. Look at all this. So we're going we're gonna to just unveil some of the uh, Jeff Needles crap stuff. We'll just go through a bunch of them here. But okay. I think a lot of these will be st uh, stocking stuffers. This is uh, we called... We should save something for Chad. Uh, yeah, maybe. I don't want to use it all up, Chad, if you want to use it for your, uh, for your show. It's, it's up to you. Well, I mean, don't you need some crap? I get. Well, Jeff, we still have Jeff. He's not leaving. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. And then, much to the consternation of everybody here, <laughs> he's not leaving. So um, this, for instance, this is, this is good. This is a, uh, because I know how much of a hardship it can be oh, yeah. to hold a can of soda. Okay, is there a way to do this special? You put the the bottom, bottom on first, on and then you lift the top over the lid. I thought, but I could. Be I think wrong. I think you do the top first. <laughs> okay, don't try to do this after this is you've boom, opened boom, the boom soda can. Um, I think it is. Yeah, I think it's bottom first, and then you lift. Maybe the top uh, maybe Canada dry cans are just a little bit larger. They're Canadian, so yeah. Uh, oh, they're metric. That's they, why. Yeah, they just this they is, do use, things differently. Use this only in with imperial cans. <laughs> This is not, I can't, boom, boom, balloon, ladies and gentlemen, $14.99. Oh. <laughs> Wrong. <laughs> Wrong shot. Do you have a shot of this thing, Jason? What's it called? This is, this like, is called, I don't know, the name rubbed exactly. off. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's something irks. Yeah, someone said it, it begins boom, with boom, K and soda. It, it irks, K blank irks. <laughs> Am I doing something wrong? Really, seriously, is there a... Maybe the Canada oh. Dry Can is different, but I guess. Oh, are beer cans smaller? <laughs> I don't think Thanks so. for the suggestion. <laughs> <laughs> this is way more convenient than just holding the can. <laughs> All right, so it's the instant beer sign. Thank you, Jeff Needles and chat. Okay, instant for taking beer care sign. Of yes. Can somebody get me a can of beer? Is no, it different I, with I beer? Think, you know what? I think it's more the one hour. Oh, it's beer for Red time. Bull. That's it. It's oh, it's totally for Red Bull. If you drink Bull. enough oh, yeah. Red Bull, you'll have it. You'll make it work. I don't put the think top so. on first, no matter what. Okay, Mr. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, this will work. <laughs> <laughs> it goes right in, like easy as can. See, piece of cake. You need a uh, hook and loops. <laughs> okay, come here. Come here, Burke. We need an engineer on the on the double. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, okay. Oh, wow. Look at that. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh, oh, as easy uh, as pie. Uh, now try oh and get it off. <laughs> Look at that. Ah. Wow. And, you know, you did that in under 20 <laughs> minutes. I think that's a new record. You know what's great about this, though? For lefties or righties. Oh, it's amazing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All that for four dollars. I'm not joking. Wow. wow. Burke really earned his keep today. Oh, amazing. Let me just blow the foam off the top. Oh. Mmm. <sighs> and it tastes better too, doesn't it? <sighs> Your hands aren't chilled. The problem is I'm gonna keep throwing it out every time I have a can of soda. <laughs> Oh, All right. well, you have Burke come take it off. Yeah, yeah, I know, Burke. Don't leave, Burke. I'm not done with my can of soda. <laughs> Don't go home yet. How about uh, Crazy Aaron? Uh, Crazy Aaron's thinking putty. Crazy it never dries out. Aaron, okay. thinking, thinking. You can shatter it. You could. It's silly putty. Do you know you can buy? What is silly putty really? There's a. There's an actual name for it. The material. And you can buy it. In fact, I've always wanted to do this. Let's do this. Wait a minute. Forget little tins of putty. You can buy 100-pound blocks of silly putty. Really? Yes. And why would you want to do that? So you'd have a lot. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> uh, PuttyWorld.com. Putty World. Putty World. It's, it's Putty's like world. It. We just live in it. Oh, this is thinking putty. No, 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 no. I want... I want the I want the massive. Let's see. Let's just say silly putty, massive quantities. World dot com. Uh, silly putty by the pound. Oh, hey, this is going to be our guest on triangulation tomorrow, Kevin Kelly. Um, 
So, uh, what uh, what Silly Putty is, is Dow Corning Dilettant Compound 3179. Oh, I knew that. Yeah. And the thing is, you can make it yourself, but you can also buy it by the pound. So, Crayola, for instance, will sell you... <laughs> Not anymore, they won't. The resource you're looking for has been removed. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, I'm just going to search for Dow Corning Dilettant Compound. I know a guy who bought like 100 pounds of this and put it in his cubicle. Huh? Well, here's the Dow Corning page. I wonder if you could buy it directly from Dow. Let's see. For use in the United States, data sheet downloads... Uh, not to be used as silly putty. They don't. They, they no longer uh, have the, the patent on it, right? Oh. So you can uh, you can buy uh, as much of it as you want. How about fifty pounds? Would that be enough? Fifty pounds yeah. of Dow Corning Dilettant Compound thirty one seventy nine cor coral putty. Here is here's what fifty pounds looks like. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> now I'm doing a Oh, website. you could drop it off the building. Oh, this has this says has Twit's name on it. Yeah. Security post one. So uh they've got people all around to catch it because what you don't want to do when you buy fifty pounds of dilettant compound thirty one seventy nine is have it bounce off down the street. <laughs> Into a car. Oh into a car. Word. This almost this could have been shot in Petaluma. <laughs> Doesn't it look Petalumish? Yeah. This is from Fugly.com. I don't even. They're going to drop it off of a parking strip. No, a tall building. Uh, all right, there it goes. Oh, oh it smashed! Oh. <laughs> it smashed! Now that's um, what's one of the one of the unique uh, features of Dilettant Compound is it is both a solid and a liquid. Wow! It is, uh, yeah. So, oh. so. <laughs> no, that, that's more like semi-serious putty than silly. <laughs> I want to buy it. I want to buy. it. I know a guy who did, and. Uh, oh my God! You killed putty, you bastard! Twenty-two dollars a pound. The first pound. Oh, that's a lot of money for fifty pounds. Holy cow! Uh, shipping limitations none. Color coral. Rebound percent eighty. Plasticity point eight two. Specific gravity one point one four at twenty five degrees centigrade. Slump point five inches. Oh uh, yeah, I don't. Yeah, that's we too need much better slump. slump than that. <laughs> slump. I'm not happy with the slump. No. Yeah. All right, too, buy too putty now. That. Here's a link. Oh, I can use Bitcoin. See, this is the Silk Road for silly putty. Yeah, but Leah, look at how much 500 pounds, uh, 50 pounds is. It's $1,000 worth of putty. Uh, and $30 shipping. Oh, <laughs> uh, no. Nah. Should it's I not buy? On Amazon Prime, I'm not buying it. Those poor people, they dropped it off the thing for $1,000 and all it did is shatter. So that's, don't drop it off the roof. I think we've learned something today. Yeah. But so, now everybody can have a little bit of silly putty once you do that, right? put it back together. That's a good point. It's not exactly yeah. destroyed. No. Well, okay. So if it is $22 a pound, and this is 3.2 ounces, okay, Google now, how much per pound is 3.2 ounces of silly putty if I... Whoa. Oh, that's not good. Oh, oh, oh wait a no. minute. Oh, wait a minute. That's Ooh. not silly it's at all. all. Right. <laughs> that you know, I think you got the nun silly gone. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? I think this is melted. Oh. It'll... Oh. No, it'll be fine. Wait oh. a minute. Wait oh. one cotton picking minute. You know what you can't do anymore? What? Uh, remember in the old days of Silly Putty, you'd, you'd lie it across the funny pages and it would pick up the funny pages? Yeah. There's no funny images? pages oh. anymore. You can't even oh. do that with oh. Mad Magazine anymore. Oh. So apparently Jimbo says Thinking Putty, which this is, is more malleable than Silly Putty. Oh. It's heat sensitive. So it's 
hyper. So am I. Put one piece in the freezer for a minute to make it very cold. While you're waiting to take it out, knead the other half in your hand to make it warm. Hold both pieces in your hand and slowly twist them together to make multicolored thinking putty. Wow, that's really fun. <laughs> that's a thinking putty trick. <laughs> Here, put, put some in the freezer. And later today, <laughs> roll it out into a snake. Okay? And then bring it out. Yeah. Silly putty. Okay, well, this is Thinking Putty from Crazy Aaron. Crazy and, uh, Aaron's Thinking Putty. It's, okay. uh, they have a whole website. It's supposed to change colors. Jeff Neal says it changes colors depending on the temperature. Oh. What happens if we microwave it? Oh, God. <laughs> Here, bring me, bring me the uh, pages of a, of a, <laughs> a cheap magazine. <laughs> oh, this is it. Friction Zone magazine. Oh. You don't want to know what it's about, but I bet no, you. I don't think so. <laughs> I bet you, I can pull up a picture of friction. Here's some friction. All of course, right. this isn't coral. This is blue, so I don't know if it'll, um, you know, do if it'll if you'll be able to read it. If I put a fuse in this and lit it, would it would it blow up? I don't hope not. Remember, did you did you ever play with silly putty or? or? Yes, I did. Yeah, but I, I never. You never did this. Oh, I did that a lot, oh, but yeah. I never tried to... It doesn't blow up, right? No. Oh, and no image came no off, No image, right? I think, yeah. Very, no, very I, light? No, I think, no image. Yeah, let's just drop it off the building and call it a day. What do you say? Okay. Try the black and white pages. <laughs> Whoa, see, it bounces. But that's what's so interesting about this. It is it's both uh, liquid... I mean, if you do... If, so you, if you throw it on the floor real hard, will it break? Uh, can you throw it hard if you, enough to well, break Well, you saw it? what happened. If, I, yeah. if I, I snap it, but if I do this, it doesn't snap. It just goes... Oh, okay. I think we've learned something here. <laughs> is to so, get Chad on earlier than we thought. Okay, they're telling me that we got th Crazy Aaron's thinking putty. If we got Crazy Aaron's C4 putty, that would blow up. And then they really would call really? him crazy. So how long do we have to freeze that putty for? One minute, it said, like, yeah, one uh, or five minutes. For a minute. For a minute. Okay, go ahead. It's been a minute. Is it very cold? <laughs> it said a minute. Maybe you have to have a special kind of freezer. All right, and then you make this into a snake. You know, that, it seems to be changing color. Isn't it getting lighter in color? Yeah, it is. Is it as I, get, as I warm it up? I, I, you know, I thought it was more purpley when you took it out. All right, let's see. We got a cold one here. Okay. Oh, it is. Look at that. Look at that. It changes color. It did change so, color. So, hey, that's and pretty now exciting. Put them together. Put <laughs> <laughs> there you go. It's beautiful. And now you have your Christmas gift for Lisa. I made it for you. It's Wait a minute. <laughs> it's the, hand let, me get, let me put a handle on it. Oh. <laughs> now, how much would you pay? Oh, Leo, that's. I made that this for you. <laughs> that just says nothing store bought here, Lisa. I toil. You wanted toil. jewels, and I have made them for you uh, in my very own hands. Yeah. I think you need to sign it. <laughs> I think nice. you could put this in the Christmas tree. It's, yeah. it's Leo's ornament, his special uh -huh. ornament. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, Christmas tree. Oh, Christmas tree. <laughs> Just don't drop it because it's made of C4. All right. Uh, wow. Now, we already did the faucet light. Dick knows all about that. Yeah, we did that. Yeah. Here's a staple-free stapler. Oh. That's going to save um, you some money. How much did you spend yeah. last year on staples? Oh, wow. Oh, 39 cents, maybe 49 cents. <laughs> This stapler doesn't even need them. No. Watch and learn. Okay. Here I have two pieces of paper. Okay. And uh, normally with two pieces of paper, if you hold one, the other falls right away, right? Yes. But <clears throat> insert... You're going to need metal staples to do that, pal. Oh, no. Watch this. Here's the staple-free stapler. What? <laughs> I punched a hole in it. <laughs> wow. Oh, 
It, yeah. They are. They're holding oh, together. Yeah, yeah, you know what? You're going to need a staple of towel. <laughs> we are going to save so much money <laughs> with this. Yeah. This is good. <laughs> <laughs> it's a stable ring. Yeah, this is excellent. <laughs> but you know what, Leo? The timing could not be better. Why is you that? You can make dude? your own confetti for New Year's Eve. It's going to take a bit of time <laughs> to hand. cut up 100,000 pieces of paper. <laughs> but you'll have all the confetti you possibly need. Ah, look at that. And and just think how much money you'll save yeah, in staples. Yeah. And look at the nice, clean appearance you get, too. I think so. And, and that's the original uh, copy of the Constitution you just did, right? If Ben Franklin had this, he wouldn't have had to invent the paperclip. I could tell you right now. Absolutely. Um, staple, oh, I should have read the instructions. Slide up to four sheets of paper against back of unit. Push down on unit and release. All sheets are now stitched together. Put in freezer for one hour <laughs> so the pages stay together. Lisa, look what I got you for Christmas. Oh. I hope she's not in the studio. Otherwise, the surprise is really spoiled. <laughs> it's smart, putty. I think she just drove away in a huff. Or a... I don't think it's a huff. It looks like a Mustang. All right. <laughs> okay. uh, Ford. She drove away in a Ford. All, All right. right. But, Lisa, I could get 10 pounds of this for only 220 bucks. No, how much? No, no, no much. comment. No comment. Yeah. Mm. Well, let's see what else. Here is uh, the Bobino Slim Pen. It's a look at you turn on its side. You can't you can't even tell it's there. Look on it front ways. It's a pen. Sideways, it's invisible. That's wow. cool. Yeah. Look, t-shirts. <laughs> Well, how many are you going to do? <laughs> Holy cow. Okay. Now, I'm going to save these for Chad because I want to see okay. Chad in his glow-in-the-dark interactive oh, T-shirt. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's perfect for him. <laughs> perfect. All right. And we won't, we won't worry about any of this other crap. Thank okay. you, Jeff Niels. <laughs> the, your legacy lives on. It is strong in this one. Huh. Oh, it's great. Yeah. It's great. Boy, I'm I'm loving this no staple oh, stapler. Yeah, it's nice. Jeff Jeff is really sad that you aren't doing the big box. The big apparently, box? Yes. He wants me to do the big box? Yes, this apparently, one? apparently he is very sad. The keyboard? About that. Yes. Really? Yeah. <laughs> That's what he keeps saying it in the chat room. <laughs> this is the big gadget. It's not the London Bridge needles. This is the big gadget. It's the Easy Eyes keyboard. Okay. It's yellow. <laughs> That apparently is it, and the, yeah, the, I think the labels are just bigger. Are the are the, lab, are the yeah, labels bigger? Easy, easy on your eyes. You don't have to squint. To see what letter. My Mac Pro doesn't include a keyboard, so this Jeff Needles knows that my three thousand dollar Mac Pro needs a Easy Eyes keyboard. Wow, nice. that is bright. Yeah, that is bright. It's a keyboard that looks like caution tape. Somebody in the chat room will yeah. case your sense. And also, instead of the stupid letters being all over the place, it's A, B, C, D, E, F, I know. E, it's F, so much it's better. Order. It's so much better to use. There is a key that says, hmm. Hmm. That's good. good. And they left out all the letters you don't use that often. So Q. it's more convenient. Yeah, Q. Yeah. It's ridiculous. Just, you don't, oh, wait a minute. There's not one. There's two easy eye keyboards in this big well, box. I think probably because <laughs> buy one, get one free. So. It's more like buy one, let's get one more out yeah, of the warehouse. Two of these? No, oh, they come that way. They come two by two like the yeah. Arc. For, for and the here's right a special easy to use mouse. Easy eyes mouse. This mouse, anybody could use it even if you, if you didn't have any eyes. Well, thank you, Jeff. I'm glad I opened that. <laughs> oh, I get it. It's one for each eye. Oh. As seen on TV 634, do you get two keyboards? I think with this, you just get one. It says four times larger letters. I don't think they're four. Are they four times larger? I could read the keys on the keyboard from the TD desk looking over there. Oh, so. those are pretty big. Yeah. All right. Let's see if you could read the top row here. Cordiop. No, cover. Put your hand over your left eye. <laughs> Now do it. A, B, C. Uh huh. Abd. Abd. D. Uh. <laughs> Wordy. 
Quirty does it. Quirty. Nice and QWERTY does it. Ladies and gentlemen, before we get to the gadget warehouse portion of our show, I'd like to remind you about Hulu. Wait a minute. Is, yeah, this, yeah. is that right? Mm -hmm. I stapled it. I can't tell. It's all stapled together. <laughs> wow. It works. It works. The stapler works. Actually, what it does is it attaches the stapler to the paper. So you can just, <laughs> that's what you really need. Never so lose you your stapler again. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Hulu Plus. Oh, I have my Hulu Plus right here. Let me just fire it up on my iPad. Hulu Plus plays on almost everything on your Chrome uh, cast. It plays on your, uh, on your, uh, most TVs have Hulu Plus built in now. And no wonder because Hulu Plus, and of course your portable devices, this is the iPad. Hulu Plus lets you binge on great TV. I love the Mindy Project. I got to do catch up on the Mindy Project. Sesame Street. You want to watch some Sesame Street? Actually, you know what's fun about Sesame Street? It's great for kids. There's no ads in this. And uh, you can browse the entire series. It, there are 780 clips, five seasons of Sesame Street on here. You can also see, I like this, today's best TV moments. I'm busy doing the show. I might miss it when uh, Tisani Chin sings I Have Nothing in the finals of The Voice. Oh, Lisa, we missed this. Oh, my goodness. Here's uh, The Wolf of Wall Street. It's not always the thought that counts, says Lisa Simpson. Um there are big uh, movies on here. There are commercial-free movies. There's there's uh, entire seasons of, like, Lost is on here, The Family Guy, Doctor Who, Community. They even have the original Star Trek on here. I've got a ton of stuff in my queue because I queue up all the Saturday Night Live stuff. So here's Robert De Niro doing Saturday Night Live. You can watch that. I just Hulu Plus is great. And all this now, $7.99 a month for unlimited viewing on your iPad, your iPhone, on your computer, on your television, on your Roku, on your Apple TV, on your Chromecast, everywhere. Even while you're flipping burgers. <laughs> Plus.com <laughs> slash twit. We're going to give you two weeks unlimited watching for free. So this is good. This will get you through the uh, holidays and into the new year. Absolutely free. They've got a great, I've been watching it, great documentary called uh, uh, Behind the Mask, Inside the World of Sports Mascots. That just sounds like a joke waiting to happen. It is, it's really great. I love it. Love the family guy. HuluPlus.com slash twit. Go there right now. You get two weeks absolutely free. You can really enjoy yourself with Hulu Plus. And we thank them for their support of the Giz Wiz show. Now, oh, wait, where'd my handle go? Let's get this back on here because it's time for us to take a little hike, a little trek. You're going to need some ginger ale. Bring your ginger ale in your special can stein with you. Top first, bottom first. I think Burke ended up doing it top first. Top first. I thought it was bottom, but I was wrong. Top first and force it. Yeah, especially when it's open like it is right now. <laughs> oh, it works. Hey, all right. Nice. It works. Wait, well, oh, I got the hole on. on the wrong side. I got to take it off now. Trust the stein. Trust. Yeah, I do. Mm -hmm. I did dent it a little bit. Mm -hmm. Um. So, ladies and gentlemen, get your stein, and let's take a walk, shall we, down the Great White Way, which today is the Great Slushy Way. Uh, the beautiful island of Manhattan, sold to uh, Peter Minuet by a bunch of Indians for $24 in glass beads. Today, it's worth twice that, <laughs> thanks to inflation. And every bit of it is taken over by one ginormous building we know as Dick's Gadget Warehouse. They're geeky and they're goofy. Together they are loopy. When gadgets pass away, ha -ha! he takes them out to play. Oh. It is gadgets warehouse. You know, I've just learned something. I'm very, I'm very upset about Canada Dry. Yeah. Made in Plano, Texas. Oh. And it's wet. What? Okay. Just saying. It's neither Canadian nor dry. No. <laughs> Um, so what did you fetch from the Gadget Warehouse last uh, time? From we the Warehouse, well, we have another viewer video. And we I think we posted a little promo for this guy. It's Ken at Hacker Public Radio. What? And Hacker Public Radio? Yeah, that's what it, that's what it said. Right. And well he he'll explain it in his viewers video. 
Hi, Dick and Leo. My name is Ken Fallon. The last time I spoke to you was around May 2012, where you guys congratulated Hacker Public Radio on its 1000th episode. We've continued producing shows, but we still haven't got all to the Daily Gizwiz. Today I want to send in a submission for Gadget Warehouse. Recently, uh, I've cleaned out my gadget warehouse, which was in the basement, and I've gotten rid of all of uh, the devices that I had, well, both my own and ones that people gave to me. The reason mainly is because of this device. It's a Raspberry Pi. Ah. I have lots of them around the house, and generally they're as powerful as the computers that I'm recycling, but also they're very, very simple. They don't take any additional components. They're all encased in the one unit and they're very energy efficient to run so it simply doesn't make sense to resurrect old PCs and reuse them again. When I was bringing all these devices down to the recycling centre there was one or two things that I just couldn't throw away. The first one was this. It's a floppy disk adapter for taking a memory card from a Fujitsu camera. That's a Whoa. whopping two megabytes. I never, I never Last saw this. Day, Have you, Leo? No. Camera is no longer with us, but this worked very, very well. Oh, smart media. Long yeah. after the camera had gone, I used this device in order to uh, increase the amount of si size that I could put onto a single floppy disk. <laughs> Strangely enough, uh, most of the computers had no problem reading over the 1.44 uh, megabyte size of a traditional floppy disk. But the device that really I want to share with you today is this. If you can kind of guess what it is. It's got yeah. a printer connection at the side, a red ribbon that goes across to screw it in, and at the back, you guessed it, a network, uh, two network ports, a BNC for the old coax type network, and a thin Ethernet, which is uh, now 100 times slower than what we have today. But this was very, very useful. It came with its own cable, um, and an additional wall socket, but I always used this cable, which would connect into a PS2 port. And for those new people among you, a PS2 port was a dedicated port for putting in a mouse and a keyboard. So you would unplug your keyboard, plug this guy in, and plug the keyboard into the back of this guy, and that would drive enough power, and you'd have two LEDs, a green and a red, and you'd know with the green one flashing if there was data going through. The reason this was so useful, the model number is a Zircom PE3-10BC. And the reason they were so useful was, back in the day, computers didn't come with network cards. So we used to add network cards to the computers. And it was always a struggle getting the dip switches to get the correct interrupt in MS-DOS in order to load the drivers so that it could communicate with the hardware so that you could get on the network to get download all the other applications that we had. As time went on, they stopped using dip switches and jumpers and went to using uh, small MS-DOS utilities. Now, the problem with these ones was that every network card had its different, uh, um, different little program that you needed to have to, uh, to configure the network card. So in order to configure the net, those were of course all kept on the network for us, but they mounted to a big stack of floppy disks. So what this device allowed us to do with one floppy disk, we could boot MS-DOS, load the drivers for this guy, pull down all the drivers for all the network cards that we had in our entire organization, put them on the hard disk, and then one by one go through them until we got the right one, configure the interrupts. So this guy allowed us to get on the network to get on the network. Brilliant, brilliant device. I liked it so much, I actually went out and bought my own. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. They are available for sale still. Uh, I saw them on eBay in the UK for around $60, $70, down to something around $20. Um, just one other thing. Hacker Public Radio will again this year be running its New Year show. Uh, it's a 24-hour show again this year. Uh, well, more actually, 26 hours, because we do from when the first time zone goes into the... <gasps> last time zone. I was just thinking it might be a great idea for something that you guys could do there on the Crit Network. I He's guess doing two hours more than a great that. idea <laughs> to uh, do a 24-hour show. Leo, you might even consider getting a tuxedo or something like that. Anyway, uh, good luck with your guys' 24-hour show and we'll probably uh, call in just to say hello during it. Anyway, that's right. it. Thanks for listening to my show. Hackerpublicradio.org 
You know, uh, uh, that's Ken. So Ken, where is he? He's got that beautiful Irish lily. Are yes. they are they in yeah. Ireland? Uh, you know, I'm not. I'm not even sure. But it sounded that way. Now he says like he's doing 26 hours. We're only doing 24 because, unless I'm mistaken, the Earth goes yes. all the way around the the sun. I am mistaken. The sun <laughs> goes all. One of those things happens. Yeah. The Earth spins all the way around on its axis in a mere 24 hours. What's the extra two hours for? I think they just wanted to get a nap. <laughs> you see, you're doing it straight through. They're going to stop after 12 hours. Sleep I for have two the hours. time zones here right in front of me. And, and then do the other two. Well, yeah, I will definitely talk to them. I'll oh, okay, definitely great. talk to them. Great. And that is, I agree, the Raspberry Pi is an amazing device. Amazing. Uh, you know, and also, if you want to submit your own video, two to three minutes, uh, your gadget warehouse, something you don't want to part with. I bought a piece of crap. I invented this, my favorite gadget of all time. Uh, shoot a YouTube video, post it on YouTube, and send us the link, Gizwiz at twit.tv and hopefully um, it'll get on the show. You'll get fame and zero fortune. <laughs> I'll send you an autograph mad magazine and Twit will send you a piece of crap. Could be the Stein, might be the stapler. Somebody's going to get the Stein. Somebody's so, going to get the stapler stapler. Wow. Ah! Wow. <laughs> and someone's going to get 50 pounds of silly, <laughs> silly putty. putty. And now, I ladies and gentlemen, so. this is the time when we listen to you, the viewers, in a section we like to call Listening to You, the Viewers. <laughs> oh, oh, I haven't heard this in ages. I've been waiting for this all year. That is awesome. Great. Awesome. Just great. That's been teasing oh. me in the sounds pile oh, yeah. of, you know, for all year, and I'm like, there's only one episode I can play. No, I should explain to Jason. We usually play that all year, and then only, only the <laughs> yeah, week of yes, Christmas exactly. play something else. Exactly. <laughs> it's like up at Mad Magazine. We have the Christmas tree all year long, right. but you take it down in December. Anybody but could have a Christmas tree during Christmas. <laughs> but it was good to hear it no matter what. This is good. You can hold a can loosely. You oh, can yeah, swing it great. around. Oh, it's great, yeah. This Just great. Um, <laughs> dry off your shirt because you spilled it all down the front. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, but, uh, there, were, there were many letters, this, many emails uh, uh, about our photo play last week that just people were just taken by that video. And... Um, it's a guy named Joe uh, Renato playing the photo player. And we got one from Andrew Rhymes who said, I saw you posted about Joe who plays that crazy piano. I have a better link I think you'll like. It comes from a public TV show called California Gold where he talks in great length about the pianos. But the clip is mainly just Joe playing the piano. Mm. It's the best version I've seen, and it shows how much work it is to play the piano. Joe ends up in a sweat in less than two minutes. It's good so work. So here's Joe at the photo player. More of this. Where do you learn something like this? I have no idea. Maybe you're born into it. <laughs> Linda.com? I think they have a video, yeah. This looks like Jason during our show. Yeah. Yeah, this looks very familiar to me, actually. <laughs> wow. 
It is. Joe, it's just... I think we've got our viewers tuned in. Oh, that's Huel Hauser. <laughs> what, what in the world is going on? Just Huel well, is, is going to be the next uh, co-host on the Gizwiz. <laughs> Uh, so, I think he expired, didn't he? <laughs> yeah, he's got, yeah. not going to be very yeah. active. We'll have Chad uh, <laughs> doing his voice. Um, okay. That is amazing. That is really amazing. Yeah. I don't know how he... There must somewhere be a description. Now pull this. Now push that. Now honk yes, the horn. Yes, yes, yes. In, in the video we showed last week, he seems to be looking at the p piano roll that maybe for oh, people maybe there's not as expert as him. Ah. But he, he is just amazing. Yeah. Wow. Um, and our email was from uh, Andrew Rines, um, and he's the host of otrwesterns.com, and that stands for Old Time Radio Westerns, otrwesterns.com. So, Andrew, thanks for that additional clip of Joe Renato playing the photo player. Uh, we have now learned <laughs> this just yes. in. This just in. That the... Uh, the island or province of Kiribati decided that it wants to be in its own time zone. And so really? does this mean that there would be four more hours? Two more hours. It's in time zone 14 instead of 12. So, so we had this debate, and you were right, John, because John said we have to do 26 hours of New Year's Eve, and I said that can't possibly be the case because, as I mentioned, the moon revolves around the Earth every 24 hours. So, <laughs> but you were right. There is Kiribati. So, but now, does this mean if we stayed on an extra two hours on New Year's Day, we'd get Kiribati? Well, let's see how we feel. <laughs> we Is could, at the end of the show, we could say, you enjoyed have? this so much and uh, that I would like to do two additional hours to speak to Kiribati. Uh, it might be, it might be you have to start two hours early. Yeah, I think it's at the beginning. Oh, I don't want to start two hours oh, early. No. I'm exhausted already. Can't you just find somebody <laughs> called Mr. Kiribati and call him? <laughs> Hello, Mr. Kiribati. Happy New Year. What? There you go. <laughs> it's four in the morning. <laughs> yes. Oh, good. That's all we needed to know. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> it's pronounced Kiribati, but it's spelled oh. K-I-R-I-B-A-T-I. -I. Oh. We we used to call it the Gilbert Islands. Uh, I call it the Forrester Islands. It was named after Gilbert Gottfried, <laughs> and um, he called it Kiribati. Anyway, I don't. I don't. It's on the map here, and I... <sighs> Leap Island. Why do they do that? Because French Polynesia, which is right next door, is 10. The Hawaiian Islands, which are a little north of them, are... Well, you know, call French Polynesia and tell them to run over next door. Yeah. Could you and... run over and just tell Kiribati we're calling? Yeah, exactly. <sighs> well, get somebody to come over to the, your camera, and it'll save you a lot of time. <sighs> All right, anyway. Dick, what a pleasure, what a joy. I will see you New Year's Eve. Now, we New did Year's invite Eve. Dick to come out, but he, because of his complicated schedule around uh, uh, CES, he, he declined. Yes, exactly. But, we but have, I'm joining you yeah, on The Gizwiz. magic of Skype, yeah. Yeah. We're going to do I, the show. I can drop in any time, right? <sighs> you can drop in any time. In fact, we could put you on that... Uh, on that uh, double robotics thing, you can roll around the place and visit and have some yeah, punch and whatever you, you want to do. There you go. I like it. As like uh, Killer BG says, Dick, you give much pleasure to the masses. Wow. We salute you. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, wow. Oh, that's not the uh, drinking stein. The, is that the instant beer stein? That's the instant beer stein oh. as seen on TV. Well, at least netcasts. Wow. Oh, <laughs> is there a Tiffany's in Petaluma? Because they're out of them here in New York. <laughs> this one is rubber plated. <laughs> for your protection. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Dick. We'll see you back here for the Giz Fizz right after the radio show. And next Week, one week from now, New Year's Eve 2013. Two weeks from today, right? So next week is the best of. Oh, next Isn't week's Christmas Eve. Right. And then two and, weeks is New Year's okay. Eve. Okay, so next week there's no show. No, no, take it easy. Take the, take the night off. That, okay, no show next week. Okay, very good. And then join you on New Year's Eve. Thank you, that'll thank you, be our, That'll be our final show. Okay, bye. I'll
see you then. Oh, uh, you'll be there. Jeez Louise. How many episodes <laughs> have we done? <laughs> 